When you write a loop in Python, such as a while or a for loop, you can also add an else block that follows the loop structure where you can provide a block of code that's only executed if the loop completes normally, meaning that if you have a loop and it executes a full cycle, then that is the only time the else block will execute its statement. And if there's any condition causing the while loop to terminate abnormally, like a break statement, for example, then it will not execute the code in the else block. And this is a unique feature to Python, which you don't see this else block for a looping structure in Java or, or C++. So let's check it out and see what it could do and see how useful it could be for us. So here in PyCharm, I've got this while loop that just prints the numbers one through five. It has a count starting at one while the count is less than or equal to five. It prints the count and then increments the count by one. So let's add an else to it, else. Print, let's just print hello and see what happens. So, okay, so it printed hello because the loop fully completed and then it prints it at the end. So this just makes sure that, make sure you print this if the loop completes successfully. Okay, so let's mess with that. Let's add a break statement in there so that it just breaks after that first iteration. So it prints one and then it breaks, but it never prints hello because the loop didn't entirely complete. So that's why we didn't get this else. So this is, I think you can think of this else block as as like code that you want to execute only if you know the loop completed a full cycle or, or iterated through an entire list if we had a list. Let's try it with a for loop. Let's create a list. Gucci, Louis, and Prada. All right, here's a little list. And let's loop through that for L or item in list, print each item. And if that list ended successfully, print full list, print it out. Okay, let's run this. Printed Gucci, Louis, and Prada. And then it said full list printed out. And let's add a little statement. if. Item is equal to Prada. Break out of there. So even though it completed printing out all the items, because of this little break statement that, that it encountered, because of this last condition was true, it never went to the else. You can even move this up. Let's do it right in the beginning. Gucci prints out Gucci, breaks out, then it never prints out full list printed. But without this break, for this if statement, you get the full list and it tells you that full list would print it out because it executed the body of this else that belongs to this for loop. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the else block that belongs to a loop structure. Thanks for watching.